Okay, I'd like to start by giving a shout out to someone who contacted me on Twitter about my review. <laughs> and you are actually the reason why I'm making this reaction um, review today. And your username is Kali Dreams, but you go by Anita. I think Anita is your name because your Twitter handle is Anita S13. So I believe Anita is your name. So thank you. Um, <laughs> for seeking me out on Twitter for this and I want to give a shout out to Maggie Lola and I want to give a shout out to Jessica Angela and Nainja Nuna and every other person that has supported this drama's review from the beginning up till the ending you've all been with me you've been watching my reviews thank you so much for bearing with me <laughs> you've all been awesome now let's go to the real review <laughs> Hey everyone, how are y'all doing? My name is Deborah and I'm having cramps right now and it gets bad from time to time so um, just so you know I might not be so excited at some points and stuff just please understand with me but I promised that I was gonna do this today so that's why I'm doing this today and for those of you wondering why I didn't do my review last week I've been going through some stuff but um, I was gonna do it yesterday and then I got really lazy and then and, and Tuesday too but I got really lazy so I just decided to combine it with the finale this week and then um, make my review this week so I am gonna be reviewing four episodes I'm gonna be reviewing episode 13, 14, 15 and 16 and I'm gonna try to make this as short as I can I'm gonna tell you my favorite scenes from the whole four episodes and then my least favorite scenes and then we go to what I thought of the whole drama and the finale as a whole and if I think it's a worthy finale or not all right now let's go to my favorite scenes my number one favorite scene which was actually sad but I found myself crying of joy and happiness because because that signified the freedom of J.O. was when J.O. was with Kangoo and he finally um, let go of Kangoo when Kangoo asked him if she should leave and he said yes you can leave which leads or which leads to my second scene which led to my first scene favorite scene but my second favorite scene was when he realized that kangu was not real when she called him and she talked to him and he realized kangu was not real real that was just the most heartbreaking touching moment ever and we will come to the cinematography later but i just thought that was so touching and oh it just broke my heart for him but i was so happy for him that finally he had broken free from his hallucinations and sickness of thinking of Kangu and believing that Kangu is real so I was really really happy for him now let's go to my third favorite scene my third favorite scene was when she came back and they were all acting like they didn't care that she was back from her trip and they had the whole kissing uh, moment and <laughs> Kwang Su and doctor, the doctor were watching them kiss I thought that was so cute and that was so hilarious so I really really like that scene that was one of my favorite scenes and can we talk about how long and hot that kiss was for a second okay that kiss was long and hot <laughs> but I like that um, so my next favorite scene this week was a scene where he found out that she was pregnant and he had to go and announce it to the world that hey look here I did this <laughs> she was pregnant for me get it I just thought that was really cute and then my last favorite scene was when they were playing with the tomatoes I believe it, they were tomatoes and they were stoning each other I thought that was just so cute so I really really like that scene my least favorite scenes in this last four episodes let's do this so my first least favorite scene this week was when he 
almost committed suicide because of Kangu and she came and they all came and they met him and his brother was about to do something ridiculous and I was praying I'm like oh my goodness Lord Jesus someone hold that guy if he hurts him I, I'm not gonna find this funny but luckily he didn't do it and I was really sad when he hurt himself and he was crying and she was crying and he thought Kangu was there and that was just the saddest thing ever now my next least favorite scene was when he or oh, actually she went to see him and she knew that wasn't good for him i was so mad i'm like what is wrong with you i get it yes you just got slapped by your mom yes you're going through so much right now from your family telling you to break up with him yes you're in love with him and he's going through with all this but still do you realize the effect you have on his life and what it can lead to i was so mad i did not find that scene funny and then when he relapsed and he was all like oh he wants to leave and he was pretending to his mom i was so mad at her because if she hadn't seen him all this wouldn't have happened and you wouldn't convince me otherwise so I really wasn't happy with her for going to see him now let's go to my next least favorite scene this week which is still kind of the same thing that I just talked about but I'm gonna talk about a different aspect of it was when she went to see him and he was breaking down and when he was telling her all what he was going through and he was just talking about how he can't talk no more that was just the saddest thing ever I was like literally oh it was the most heartbreaking thing ever. Joe In Song deserves an Oscar for this movie. I am sorry. He's acting, Lord Jesus. So yeah, I really that scene was so sad and heartbreaking, and I felt so sad for him. He nearly moved me, but I knew better that he had to be saved. Now my next least favorite scene was when the mom came and the mom said they should discharge him. Oh my Lord Jesus, I was so mad. <laughs> It was like one of those moments where you want to beat someone up and you're like, hold me, hold me. I'm about to beat someone up or something like that. Because it was her fault in the first place that he has all this guilt if she hadn't killed her husband. Now, don't get me wrong. Like I said before, I blame the father. But right now, I am so I was so mad at the mom for what she did for releasing the son. Yeah, he played her into it. But still, yes, I get you want your children to be together. But still deal like your son's life is more important than the family unity his life is more important than all of that seriously than your emotional feelings and all that so i understood how she was feeling but that doesn't mean i supported her actions so i really like that scene the next scene i didn't like this week was when or oh, the scenes i'm just gonna combine them into one where the scenes where her mom jesus mom was being all really annoying and telling her to break up with him and she slapped her and she slapped her again and i'm like hold up if she slaps her the third time i'm gonna get into the screen <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to take Hesu away, okay? But that's impossible. But yeah, I didn't like that scene. That scene was just frustrating. I was so mad at the mom, like, let them be. What the heck? It's not your life. I was so mad at the mom and her sister. But anyways, now let's go to what I thought about the whole drama as a whole. First of all, the acting in this drama has been super flawless. Like, D.O. exceeded my expectations. The model from YG was just beautiful. Kwang Su has improved so much and he is so good. This drama, oh my goodness, I feel like they should all get awards for this drama. It was so good. The acting, Jo and Sung, there's one thing I always say about Jo and Sung. All his dramas all, and his movies, I watch anything related to Jo and Sung. Because his acting is the most believable acting I have ever seen next to Shah Rukh Khan's acting. And that's an Indian actor for those of you who don't know. He makes it so believable. He doesn't care about how he looks when he's crying or when he's acting. And he just lets free and enters his character beautifully and lets it flow. And I just love that. So the acting was flawless. Now let's talk about the whole symbolism. For those who are not aware or for those who don't know, the lack of wearing shoes or or not having your shoes represents can represent someone trying to find their identity a missing identity and you trying to redefine yourself and refine who you are and find the real you it's 
kind of represents your approach to life, your whole approach to life, a person's whole approach to life. So him not having his shoes, I thought that was the greatest symbolism of this drama because he wasn't himself. He was trying to find himself. He was lost. He he wasn't he he had locked up a part of himself in the past and he was in guilt and the wounds on the leg like without the shoes represented his heart and the guilt and the pain he's feeling and the injury in his heart in how he he he's trying to find bring find himself because he's lost in his guilt he's lost in his guilt so he needs to find himself and come out of that guilt that he's in and finally let go and be free so i really really like how that lack of shoe represented that even though it also represented like his legs were the same as um what's his name the little um him when he was younger but still it also had a deeper meaning which i really really loved that symbolism was just crazy i was just like going crazy here and i oh my goodness this is awesome this is beautiful this is awesome so yeah i really really like that the symbolism in this drama was off the chain now let's talk about the ending now i hate dramas that make people separate and one travel somewhere else and and when they did that because I like if you watch my reviews you know I had an idea that that was gonna happen and I wasn't finding that funny so when that happened here I was so mad and I, I just I, I thought this was gonna be the perfect ending and then when I saw that scene I knew it was gonna just spoil everything or I thought it was gonna spoil everything but then it turns out that I was wrong because it turned out to make me think and realize that they really actually needed to be separated for him to heal because if she had stayed in the state she was in he wouldn't have made such a speedy beautiful progress like he did with her being away and she wouldn't have achieved what she achieved in life. So they really, really needed that moment of separation while realizing that they loved each other. And the separation, when I look at it, it's not like other K-drama separations where they leave like, oh, I hate you, or my mom said that she leave you. Well, her mom said they should leave, but they left with a common agreement of coming back to each other if they're in love. Unlike other K-dramas where they just say, oh, I'm leaving, goodbye. I will never see you again because my mom said so I hate you even though I don't hate you so yeah I love that there was that common agreement and common understanding between them and they finally came back together and you could see the use of the separating which I didn't see the use of the separation in master's son I I'm sorry I get it yeah she she had to leave and get over the seeing the ghost and all that but I'm sorry I, I still don't like the ending for that but i just had to get that out there but yeah i actually could relate to why they needed to separate by the end of this drama it convinced me as to why they needed to separate and something else that i loved was the shock of them being married because you we didn't expect that we didn't expect that maybe they will get married but we didn't expect it to be brought into the plate that way so it was a beautiful way to tell us that they were married and they were happily married and the ending was just the cutest ending ever and i love how at the end of the day it took to the um role or the line that it's always been sticking in uh, sticking to for me like i told you in the beginning the drama makes no sense but it makes sense it's so confusing that it's beautiful and the ending the scene where they were all fighting in the room it was the most confusing thing ever in my life but it was the most beautiful thing ever and i just loved that scene even though it was slightly confusing but it was still beautiful and i love that about this drama how it shows how life is so confusing so sometimes but yet so beautiful and how the little things in life matter and i just loved how they brought in relationships in kwang su's relationship with him and how kwang su went to go be with him when he didn't know yet about the when jayo didn't know about his own mental situation and Kwang Su went to be with him to make sure he's okay and he doesn't commit suicide. Which brings me to another scene that I didn't like when she left him alone and he went out. I was so mad at that girl. I wanted to slap her. <laughs> I was so mad. 
<laughs> no balance but i was so mad <laughs> i was so mad though but yeah um i loved how the drama ended in that the the it showed the importance of relationships and the advice it gave at the end regarding mental health and it can become normal with time you they can it can be treated and you shouldn't treat them badly just because they have a mental issue you shouldn't treat people badly just because they have a mental issue and all that so i loved how that was beautifully executed and this is the first drama in the history of dramas that i'm done with and i don't stand up and go like do something with my life or sit down and think so what else what next but i actually sat down and reflected on the drama and the lessons I learned from the drama and one thing that was so beautiful was how they showed that life is too short to be hated life is too short to hold so much grudges in your heart in that Hesu and her ex yes her ex cheated on her and all that but she forgave him and she let it go and another thing that i love about that fact is they didn't show that you should go back to your ex when he cheats on you and go back to being treated like trash but they showed that you should value yourself and realize that you're better than that and get someone better but also learn to free your heart and be free from that hurt and that pain and just Oh, live a beautiful life. I love this drama. It showed so much and I feel so many people need to watch this drama regardless of what you may think and how it's so different from K-dramas. But I think this drama is a masterpiece and I really wish they could get an Oscar. Do they give Oscars to people from other countries? Like, um in terms of dramas from other countries and movies from other countries i don't know if they do but they really deserve an oscar like joe and sung this acting is beautiful they need to this needs to go to the Cannes film festival it's just ah oh, this is great and if they don't get the desang award by the end of the year except something comes that's better i'm gonna be so mad like i'm gonna be so mad because the acting was flawless but yeah I am so sad it's gone but I am happy at the ending and how everything was closed beautifully. It didn't seem rushed, it seemed natural unlike most K-dramas which didn't seem rushed. It didn't seem rushed, it just flowed and it was understandable and I love that about it. But yeah, let me know what you thought about it. I am gonna miss this drama. Let me know what you're gonna miss about this drama in the comments down below. Or if you're not gonna miss anything about this drama, let me know why in the comments down below. And just let me know what you thought about the ending. Was it a worthy ending for you in the history of K-dramas or just in general was it a worthy ending or was it not a worthy ending for me i loved the ending and i thought it was a total worthy ending and i was so scared they were gonna spoil it but luckily they did not spoil it so thank you writers for that but yeah let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below don't forget to give this video a like don't forget to share subscribe and keep being the awesome beautiful people you are from me to you you know because i'm love for you peace